Hi guys, it's City Bricks, and the first thing I'm going to say is sorry I have been so busy over the past, what, three or four months now? So I haven't managed to do a video, but here I am back. Um, today we're going to be doing another Lego video of an MOC that I made. It's a ferry, so I'll show you. Here it is. Oops. Uh, the second thing I'm going to say is that I have much better camera quality due to a new phone. The last thing I shot on was terrible quality, as you probably noticed. Quality now is a lot better, as you can probably see, but let's get into this video. So, starting at the front, uh, or starting at the base, maybe, actually. I'll tell you the story about that. Um, I was in the airing cupboard trying to find some clothes and I found an ancient Lego pirate ship stashed at the back. So I pulled it out and it had a few masts attached, a few a few other things, but I, I didn't want it as a pirate ship. So I broke it all apart and the base is all three piece of things. So you just join them together with these annoying little green bits here. If I, if I could take them out then the whole thing breaks. So I kept them on, but yeah, it was first converted, well, I converted it to a cargo ship. The cargo ship looked terrible. I broke it up, had a rethink, made it into what you see here. Uh, this is LV Lock Lego. LV stands for Lego Vessel. Uh, it is my pr pride and joy at the moment. I love it. Uh, it looks amazing. So let's just, yeah, as I was saying to start with, let's start at the front. So as you probably know on ferries you have the front bit where the crew stand to work mechanics and everything. That is there. I then have the bridge where the pilot sits, slash captain, slash sailor, whatever. He sits in there, uh, along with someone who is a chef, probably, uh, offering him a snack. Obviously a chocolate bar, who doesn't like chocolate. Uh, then move down and I will tell you about the deck of the boat, the car deck. It fits about four of the red cars um, that you see here. Uh, at the moment though I have a blue car from the, oh I don't know what set it is, and then a red car from the petrol station and then an MOC lorry. I could do a video on that later. As we move around you see the passenger area. This area can fit up to four people, so not a lot, but it's not necessarily a busy ferry. On top of that, we have a lifeboat, which saves minifigures lives if they have any. Uh, this is, I'll just move it over, the ramp. Oops, what was that? Oh. This is the bridge. I have a port which goes with it, uh, currently on my LEGO City. But as you can see, it's quite high up. I can't quite fit the phone under. But yeah, it's quite high up. So that's that's one disadvantage of this body, I think. The fact that the bridge has to be very high up because of the shell of the thing. Around the other side, we have a crew area. This is where they operate the ramp and all the maintenance aboard the ship. You have the funnel up there which has a lot of smoke coming out, ships are polluting things. can't believe they actually exist, but my Lego one does. Up here you have satellite navigation, unless you bend it that way, of course. Uh, yeah, and then you have the thing that turns around, I don't know quite what it does, is it an electricity generator? Ship pros can tell me about that, but I've seen it, so I added it. Again, going down to the car deck, it has a ramp here. It used to have like prison bars going down, but they always fell off, so I quickly converted it. The only problem with the ramp, of course, is that I like to have those yellow barriers, but I have to do that, which isn't great. But that's what I have to do because it doesn't fit, whereas the blue and red cars do. That is all for today guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video after a while, it's been four months, I deeply apologise for that. Uh, but yeah, this was City Bricks, see you in the next video, peace out.